going to explain or do the lab activity of chapter 2 part 3 question number 1 create a web page where a person has to top choose a day of the month from a drop down list the page should also allow the person to enter two lines on what the person plan to do on to do this one we have to create a form first of all uh, today's practical i am going to do it in my mobile i am opening one app which i have installed trab edit t r e b e d i t you can install any text editor to do html codes in mobile so i am opening it as i have already discussed about this app here we get workspace workspace means on which folder i am storing the files so here i will click on workspace and here i will add my file and i will give my file name as to do list so i will first press on plus sign then i will click on new file and give the file name as to do list list then save sorry i have to give the extension also dot html as my file format is html so done now i will open that particular file to do list i have opened the file now i will have to type the code first line will be doc type html for that bracket then exclamatory sign after that i will write doc type doc type will be together html and bracket will close now next line we will write html inside bracket html and bracket close now you see when i type the opening static html uh, or starting html the closing automatically appeared so this is the advantage of using this type of editors now i will write head part so head h e a d head inside head we will give title t i t l e title and we will give the title as uh, plan of the amount you can give any name it does not matter and later on style part we'll do later on now we are going to write the body parts here we'll give bracket and body b o d y body bracket close and body is automatically closed inside the body we are going to use p or h1 tag h1 and here we'll write plan of the month after that we'll go to next line and here we are going to create a form here we'll write form name we can give any name to the form suppose to do after that uh, we have some other attribute of form but we are not going to use it now at present and suppose i am want to uh, keep it as a group for that we can write fill set fill set then break it close after fill set we'll write legend legend bracket close and legend name will give us type your plan after that we'll go to next line here first i will write inside b tag 
choose date and br next line we will write input type here type will be date because we are selecting a date from the input box then name equal date after that we'll close this input now we'll go to sorry we'll go to that line only here we'll add a new line br otherwise that part will come together again we are going to write what write about your plan so again b write about or we can write just details as according to the question we have to write two line of text so directly input field will not work here so we have to use text area text a r e a area then bracket will be closed and inside the text area we have to add this attribute rows rows we will give two because two lines sorry two and calls means column means how many characters we want at a particular time so we'll give calls equal let it be 22 that part also done now br we'll go to next line here we have to create a button so we'll write input sorry button type this one will give us submit then name equal submit then value equal save then bracket close after that let's see how our output will be to see the output we have already saved the file just we will press on the play button so this is our output here see i think uh, that button content is not displaying means so what i want to display there let's see first save then open it still not displaying or instead of button we can also write input input type and we'll give here as button In place of submit, we'll write button. So here we can see. So we can choose the date from here. And here we can write something. And you see here we can write two lines. And but when we press the save button, nothing happens. Because we have not written the code for the save button because uh, for that we need some other programming languages now let's go back to the page and by using 
<clears throat> we can use one more button here this uh, space then input type here we'll get as reset reset button will what do whatever we have entered there that part will reset it we can give name equal reset and value also we can give clear after that bracket is closed let's see the output so see here now i have selected a date and i have written something here after that if i press save button nothing happens but if i press clear so whatever entry i have done it's cleared so this way we can solve the question number one we can do it more do it more attractive by applying different colors background color to the page and all so let's see how to do that suppose i want to make the page black and white means nowadays dark theme is popular so i want to put my pages dark for that what i will do we will go to the head part after this title we will add style part style there we will write type text oblique css then bracket close and inside the style we will select our element as body means we are selecting the body tag and here we will write by giving curly braces background color background then this color background color and colon black and when background is black so text color also should be changed for that we will write color white it's done now let's see whether it's work or not now see our place <coughs> our page is in black color and text is in white color but still our input boxes are in white because we have not changed the input box background color so for that again we can do this one first let's change the a uh, h1 style so we will write h1 then break it and h11 first we'll write align we'll give the align as center and color also will change <coughs> color equal let it be yellow now let see the output now see that uh, plan of the month is displaying in yellow color but it not display in center maybe we have to write this way text this align so now it's came in center now if we want to put a underline there we can do this one text dash decoration and we'll write this underline let's see So now it is underlined also. Now let's come to the this uh, legend means on where I am keeping the form control. Let's try to change that. For that we'll select our element as fill set. After that bracket and we'll select background color. Background this color and color here 
one advantage is there that we can choose the color how i am showing you that you can see that one small arrow button is displaying at right hand side just tap on the arrow button and touch on color picker from that we can choose different type of colors so here by using that you can change the settings so whatever type of color you want you can choose it from here i want little <coughs> little blackish type color let it be this one okay i have chosen this color for background from the color picker i have choose this code are known as hexadecimal codes for color here it's two deep, uh, digit uh, represent some different color let's see how it see how it can be seen so it will so like this now we can also change the form one uh, this one color input fields color for that we can write input and or this field set one only we can give here comma input now let's see now that input box color also changed but it's not looking good so we are not going to give this input color we are going to give some another input color to input field so we'll write input comma text area and within bracket we are going to give the color name so background this color then color will choose by using color picker here let it be little greenish type okay done now so this will be the output now you see here when we write something it's coming in black if we want in some other color for that we can again write color color then colon and from there color picker we can choose the color whatever we want suppose i want a little pinkish pink type color then i can choose this and a semicolon now if i write something it's coming in pink color so this way we can make a attractive page uh, document sorry form or this uh, question form in html also we can put style folder button also for that we can write uh, input then colon button and all so this way we can put different different styles to our uh, document if you have any confusion you can write in comment section and whatever code i have written here that same code you can also do in computer also in computer if you are doing in notepad then everything you have to write yourself and this will not display in multicolor but in ht if you want to write in your computer little stylish and if you want that your clues should be automatically closed you can download sublime or notepad plus plus also you can code in vs code it will be much easier so whatever but uh, i think in practical examination board one there you have to do in notepad only so you can practice you should practice with notepad also otherwise uh, you will become lazier and you will forget to close the tag so that's all for today thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye